So hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a save game for our main menu that we have created before. This is the second video of the previous video, which is this one. You can watch it up here. Yeah, so let's get started. The video will be pretty short, as it's pretty simple. You can go into our blueprints here, folder here. You can right click. You can create a new blueprint class. You can expand this all classes. And we can type save game. You can go select. We can name the uh, actor to be BP underscore. Let's say settings save game. So double click on it. Now we can create two new variables. We'll name this uh, graphic settings. This will be type string. And don't forget to check the eye here. Or you can go here and check that it's inevitable. We'll create another one. Limit frame rate. We can change this to boolean. We have to tick the eye here. We can compile. We are good to go. Now we can go into our uh, main menu UI over here. We can change the active widget index of our widget switcher to one. So it will be on our settings here. Now we can go to our event graph over the function set revoker settings. Open that. Now we can save the game. We can hold down S on the keyboard and click on the event graph. We can set the den zero to the switch and the den one should be our safe logic. I think we should create a new uh, function. Let's call it save settings. From here we can create save game object. Type bp underscore setting save game. And on return value we can set the graphical uh set graphic settings. Um, for here we can check the bit the high button if it's enabled so get is enabled so we can select string so if it's enabled we can set the a to high and the b we can copy the select string again copy the get is enabled again and we can drag off the medium button here so be medium and for the B one, we, we just have to set it to low. Yeah, that's it. Now we can drag off again and we set the limit frame rate. This should be the checkbox limit FPS. Uh, get check state. Oops, oh, sorry. Is checked. Yeah. Now we can drag the return value again and type save game to slot. We can set the slot them to be settings. That's it. Now we can go back to our function here. We can save the settings like that. And uh, on the apply settings here, we have to set the, the buttons to be enabled or disabled. So on the low here, we can drag off the button low and button medium and button high, all three of them. And we can drag off and set enabled. You can set the the low button to be disabled and the other one to be enabled. You can copy two times. Button high will be this one. Button low will be moved into the enabled. Same goes for the menu button here. Like so. Yeah. You just have to copy this one and we can go back to our event graph and we have to make our loading function. Now on the event construct, we can drag off this one and load game from slot. For the slot name, we can type in settings. And we have to cast this to bp underscore settings save game. And we can get the graphic settings. And get the limit from right. We can switch on string. We can add new three pin names here. Uh, the first one should be low. Medium. And high. We can plug this into our casting here. So we can paste and just plug it in into this. Now for the limit frame rate, we can drag off our checkbox here. Set is enabled. Limit frame rate here into the enabled pin. Okay, I just made a mistake that on the select string here, on the save settings function, we have to get if the button is disabled and not if the button is enabled. 
so we can drag off the dead value here we can uh, not pull in type not pull in drag off to a and also same goes for the medium one here and this one should be not set is enabled but set is checked i'm sorry guys so we can plug the limit frame to this one now we are good to go we can test the game out right now it should be fine we can click low we can check the limit fps now we can go back exit the game and play it again now as you can see the settings saved let's select medium and uncheck the limit fps we can exit the game and now we can see the settings is safe i'll choose low and i limit fps to 60. we can go back and play our game let's see as you can see the setting is saved yeah i think that's pretty much it for the video it's pretty short and straightforward i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or requests you can leave comment down below don't forget to leave a like if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in the next video bye bye